and welcome part four of this little fucking game! Alright, I've already read this part. Her, uh, I can't fucking hear it. Enthusiasm is infectious. Even from the other side of the, side of the screen, the video was uploaded 18 hours ago. I guess this must be footage from a tournament yesterday. The, oh, so she won a tournament already over and done with, but I feel excited simple, simple watching Hazel. She's so cute and bubbly. It's hard to not root for her. Why would you say bubbly, dude? Are you, do you want to get your ass kicked? Like, if you say that to a woman, the woman will slap the fucking shit out of you and tell you that you're a fucking pervert. And then after that, she'll probably pepper spray you. Fucking Japan! <laughs> She's pretty impressive. I wonder what comments say. Usually bother trolling through the comments on my tube. I know it's YouTube, it's pretty fucking obvious it's YouTube. But since they don't want to get copyright for the fucking name of... They don't want to pay for YouTube, so it's my tube. That's pretty fucking funny. Japan's always clever at making it up so they don't have to pay the company. <laughs> I just think it's pretty fucking funny. Like, if you see an anime that has to do with YouTube, they name it something else, and that's pretty fucking dope. So, yeah. <laughs> Though the internet's uh, nominee can be a blessing uh, at other times, it can be a curse. Yes, it can. People seem particularly quick to show the worst sides of themselves on comment sections like my two. You got that right, man. I get, I'll let you know. I don't get usually, I always get positive comments on my YouTube channel. I get. I don't usually get mean comments, which is actually pretty nice. I love my community. I love you all. For let me do this thing for a regular basis, and you guys are the main reason why I continue to do this game, do these videos because of you guys. Because if it wasn't for you, I would not be doing this. I'll be working at five to nine, nine to five job at a grocery store, and I'll be too tired to do anything else. So I love you all. And that's where we're going to move on. If I had a... Why? Don't put fucking Japanese letters in my fucking dialogue, you fucking asshole! Time I've seen my two comment sections descent into chaos and anarchy, I'll be richer than Marina. To my relief, however, I found that this comment section is relatively tame. Most of the replies are supportive, Hazel, if a little luxurious. Hazel really is adorable. Her little thing is to die for. I can't take this fucking comic section very well, and I knew it was something weird's gonna happen because of the fucking music, man. It tells you that some fucked up thing's gonna happen. What the fuck? Her thighs are even more thick than a, a strawberry milkshake. Why, goddess? Why? Why would you say that, you jackass? <laughs> oh my god! Help me for the love of god! <laughs> for such a young athlete, her form is excellent. You can tell she practices a lot. That's not even a. Uh, he spelled practices wrong, first off, Mr. Jackass. She's always so cheerful. Watching her never fails to make me happy. She's the pride and joy of Japan. I, we all love you, Hazel. What I wouldn't give for her to crush me to death between those thighs of her. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Seriously? <laughs> Why would you want that to happen to you? Why? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? This is fucking ridiculous! <laughs> I bought this game because it was three fucking dollars and this is the shit I get! 
<laughs> I'm laughing so hard, I'm fucking crying, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I can't fucking take this game seriously. <laughs> Did any of these, any of you guys know that she's a lesbian? What the fuck? <laughs> I saw an article about it online. There is are pictures of her kissing other another woman. I just wish that was me. <laughs> Why does this game exist? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? I'm fucking crying, dude! It's so fucking funny! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what's the next one? Hey guys, I'm out of my mind. Or is Hazel not wearing any pants? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Pause the video at 27 seconds and take a look. This could be big and true. She's not wearing any panties. Oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with you fucking perverts? <laughs> no panties, huh? I doubt that's true. There's no way an, an, an upcoming athlete like Hazel Williams would be allowed to play in public. Televised match commando. <laughs> that one's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> but uh, her tan, sweaty thighs are very appealing. Well, this is. This proves that she's a fucking succubus. Because all these guys want to fucking get crushed by your fucking thigh! What the fuck is wrong with you jackasses? I wouldn't mind seeing- Oh, we're still going off this thing? I wouldn't mind seeing a little more of her if you catch my drift. You guys are a bunch of fucking perverts, man. It's like being in a live stream and all the comments saying, I want to see your boobs. I want to see your boobs. I want to see your ass. I want to see your boobs. Show me those boobs. I w I'm jacking off right now. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this fucking piece of shit? <laughs> That's what most... We have to go back to the fucking picture now? I follow the instructions of the... Dude, you're, you're just as dumb as she is. Oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with you, jackass? I follow the instructions of that one for unscriptedless. I don't even scripted. I don't even know that word. Unscriptedless comment. Oh, okay. I might have said it wrong, but I'm trying my best. This is actually helping me out. Um, uh, learn how to um, uh, read proper, get better at reading English words that are big and long, and I don't know how to fucking speak it. And start the video at 27 seconds. Then I stare at my screen. My air is there with laser-like focus. I think I can see a flash of something. Flesh color beneath pleats of her shorts. White skirt. But in the blurry, I can't really tell. Maybe she's wearing a skin-colored undies? That must be it. No, now I feel dumb for getting my hopes up. Uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, is this the character? He's this guy is such a fucking pervert, just like the rest of them. Like, dude, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? You don't fucking. Well, then again, it's her fault for not wearing any panties. What the fuck is this game doing to me? <laughs> well, duh. Why do you even want to look at Hazel's rear? Yeah, true, he has a point. It's not like you're so desperate you need to lust after pretty girl. You already have Inu Cosmos and Maria. And also the fourth chick that we just have that we're gonna fuck as well. We're gonna fuck Maria, her two sisters, and their gra and their grandmother. Pretty much. I got I got a sister. A fucking sister, a fucking another, or two, or a fucking Cosmos, her sister, her big sister who's the boss, and her fucking granny who's a milk, a guilt. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Is it enough? Enough? I uh, know you'll be fine. I think at the end of this, she has like a harem, like over twelve women that wants to fuck him, and they're all fucking stuck in it. So that thing's gonna be writhing in pain afterwards. Signs of this other comment is to be believed. Hazel doesn't like even like men. I wonder if she is really is a lesbian. I guess it would could be hearsay. Look, if you're a lesbian or gay, I have no problem with you. Just don't shove it down my throat, okay? Okay. But if you're gay and you're cool, you're a good guy. In fact, if you want a wingman, have gay guys that go to the bar with you. <laughs> yeah, they can pick up ladies really fucking quick, man. <laughs> because they know that they're gay, so they're not gonna flirt with them. And they can just be your wingman. <laughs> Although, that's also contradicting, because... Because, you know, I like gay guys. I had, uh, I had a co-worker that was gay. He married, uh, married a dude. And he's actually a pretty cool guy. I always talk to him about sports and stuff and photography. Because he used to be a camera. I think he was a cameraman back in the day. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing now. He's probably still working cameras and stuff. Shout out to him. His name is Cody. He's a cool dude. I never met his husband, though. I could always look up it up online and it's supposed photo of her kissing another woman, but I decided to leave off for, for now. I'll I've wasted enough time scrutinizing the pit skull of this tournament footage. Lesbian or not, she seems like an interesting woman. I think I meet her. Photographing her sounds like fun. Dude, you are fucking screwed. You already know she's a fucking succubus just by the fucking comments in the fucking comment section! And her fucking behavior! Red flags, dude! You already got four fucking girls, one fucking suck your dick! <laughs> like, why do you want one more? Are you a fucking. Oh my god! This guy's gonna have like the whole entire fucking succubus community fucking him! Fucking his dick for the rest of his life. He's gonna be chained up in the fucking back fucking room in the sex dungeon. Get <laughs> fucked with fucking dildos and strap ons, and you can't do shit. He has to take it, and then all the succubus uh, line up to fuck him. <laughs> and I I typed out a what's <laughs> interviewing monsters. It's probably the perverted, most perverted anime I've ever seen. By the way, I did a review of it. It's an interesting anime, but uh, it's, I understand why it's not... I don't know I know why Funimation never fully English dubbed it. Why well, they did, but you know... Why they never released it again. The anime's fucking perverted, man. I briefly considered sending a message to my dad, too. Being a huge tennis nut, I bet he'd be able to provide me with ample information about Hazel. He's pro he'll probably get be excited too to know I have a shot of photographing her. But in the end, I decide against it. I can tell him later. Right now, I think I'd rather go back to my room and relax. I rise from my bed and stress, raising my arms above my head. Feels tense, my shoulders stiff. I always get like this when I have to talk to my boss, even over emails. Man, you have some stress issues, dude. He is so demanding. I want to relax more. Darn it! I turn, ready to leave the guard behind me, but. Surprise meeting! While her boobs are next to me, I'm touching the boobs. Why is that a fucking achievement, man? Oof. Key! I smacked into something stuff and squishy. Like two loaves of freshly break baked bread. They're boobs, too! Um! Here, Ku! Ah! It looks like I'm pressing up against Cosmo's 
nearly an inch of spare between us. I must have bumped into her, and by the sound of it, it was with some de degree of strength. Are you alright? I didn't hurt you, did I? Uh, are you alright? I didn't hurt you, did I? No, I'm fine! You sure? My chest absorbed most of the impact. That, that, they're kind of like airbags, you see? <laughs> she has, she holds up her, pulls up her fucking shirt, like, do you see my boobs? Right. I don't know if that is a mental image I really needed. But I'm glad everything seems to be okay. I hate to give my cute girlfriend any bumps and bruises. Even though accidentally. Thank you for being so considerate, though. You truly- You truly are the best boyfriend a girl could have! What a- With a cute, girly-ish giggle, Cosmo's nose was closer to me. Though our embrace was a rather sudden nature, I'd be enjoying this a little too- a bit too much. I should probably put a stop to things before it gets out of hand. I love you too, but can you give me a bit of air? If anybody sees us out here, we might get in trouble. Oh yes, you are quite right. I'm sorry. I was so happy to see you. Couldn't help myself. Perhaps I acted a bit too forward. Hee <laughs> hee. Level two six. A step back, smiling shyly. When I'm with you. I sometimes forget that I'm a succubus. Oh, that's so sweet. Although you're a bit of a fucking weirdo, walking like a fucking. Weirdo. Have you ever seen my little? If you see my last game, the first game, she made me walk her like a fucking dog. She gave. She even gave me a fucking leash. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? I was drawn to you be. I was drawn to you because of your unique scent. Which I it like is like honey to us, suck you by. But you treat me much more kindness than anybody has. When we're together, I feel like I'm I really am your girlfriend. Ah, uh, there's a problem. I have three bitches in the other in the fucking hotel that want to fuck me too. Okay, lady. So get back in fucking line. As they drain my balls and then they fucking melt the shit out of me until my bombs are fucking shriveled up like a fucking racer. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate this game. I hate this fucking game. <laughs> my my face turns to my face starts to turn red. My heart flushes in my chest. I get all excited and then wow, I start masturbating uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do I do this to myself? Ah, <laughs> oh, this playthrough is gonna be fucking fun. <laughs> ah, boy. Cosmo Smiles takes takes on a ruffled tinge. I forget myself. We suck you by eight humans, though. We may look human and we're a lot stronger than kind. If I was to, if I'd start clinging to you, I could have hurt you. Really? This is new information. So not only do I have to worry about them kicking my ass, but if they kick my ass, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through two fucking buildings. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna die! Either, it's either in the bed, or they're just gonna kick the shit out of you until you fucking stop fucking breathing. And, then, and if that happened, I would never have forgiven myself. Oh, true. And I bet Maria and you would never forget me. Forgive me either. Love you a lot, too. I'm not sh so sure about that. I know Maria and you are fond of me. However much Inu tries to pretend otherwise. But I don't know if they love me in the traditional sense. Rio seems to like me as a pet. Where's Inu? 
Well, who knows what what's going on with that girl? She's so temperamental. So she is a temperamental. And flight, 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 fight, flight, Lee. I doubt even she fully understands her own feelings. Uh, yeah, she does have a temper. Because she gets pissed off a lot. Hey, Roku! Hey, Hippie! That's what appears at me. Are you alright? You look deeply in thought about something. Uh, kind of, I guess. Is it about work? Yeah, it is. How'd you know? I was walking through the garden and taking some photographs. And of course she was. Of course she was. Being a rapid pawn star with millions of followers, Cosmos should Cosmos takes photos of almost everything. She's even crazier about photogra photographing than I am, yeah. When I saw you sitting on the bench, you were looking at your phone and you bowed brow was crest that the look that you always wear wear when your boss messages you so I figured I but it was work related Phew. I whistled there's some good guesswork you are like a regular detective no I'm not I'm not smart enough and what and who told you that the rest of my sisters, I'm stupid. In particular, I think she has a point. I'm slow. It's hard for me to learn new things. I can't. I could never memorize dance steps like in you. Work in business like Maria. I'm not clever at all. Cosmos, you and I are the uh, same thing. Holy shit. Cosmos, you can be my girl boyfriend, or girlfriend, because you are the best. Because you are the best person for me. You're just like me. I'm also very slow, and I try to work my hardest to prove everyone wrong. But sometimes that's not the best case. But you figured out how I was feeling, and what was wrong with me, all from a glance. You might disagree with me, but I think that's pretty clever. It's not! I can tell how you feel because we spent a lot of time together. Because I'm your girlfriend. I used to be a bad at understanding emotions too, and you said I had trouble reading the atmosphere, whatever that is. I thought maybe I was the, a defective succubus. I didn't understand humans or myself. I didn't know what my purpose was. But I think I got better at all this after being with you. You help me understand nice feelings like love and happiness, but also dark, negative feelings like jealousy and loneliness. You haven't got jealous! Well, then again, your sisters want to fuck me too, so... Oh, wait. Let's go back. I will never... I'll never really experience those things until now. It's all new to me, but... Cosmos rest a hand against my her breast. Just her... Above her heart. I cherish each and every mo every one of them. Thank you, Roko. Thank you, Hippie, for helping me! No problem, fair lady. You have done more than me than you can imagine. So if possible, I would like to lend you... There for your worries too. I want to be there with you. Don't mind. Cosmos looks hardly adorable. My heart lurches. She's so sweet. It should be illegal. Cosmos. Yes, Heroku. Yes, Epi. You do more than enough for me already. But don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I have Maria and Inu, and you too. You're all very precious to me. I cut Cosmo's cheek in my hand, then dip my head. My lips meet hers for the for a brief gentle kiss. Aw, oh, that's so sweet! 
which she sighs into. Heroku hippie! What? She smiles tremendously. I love you! And I love you too. I love you loads. How much of is loads exactly? I can't qu qu quantify that in. Is that how you say it? It has a Q. Can you try numbers make things easier to understand? Well, um, emotions don't really work like that. They're not always logic, logical, but let's see. I love you more than the stars in space. How's that? And oh, you shakes her head. I don't. I don't think she entirely believes in this bold claim. But the smile of her lips doesn't waver. That can't be true. There are billions and billions and billions of stars of, in space. I doubt any human has the ability to love anyone that much. You're flattering me! Of course I am. But is there a problem with that? I'm a, I am your boyfriend after all, yes. Hippie! Thank you! Cosmos wins her arms around mine and I escort her to the beach bench where I sat before. Above sink down upon a cosmos shivering as the cold stone presses against her bare thighs. Cosmos let her head fall against my shoulder. Fall a few loose strays of hair tickles my nose. So close to me, I can smell her shampoo. It's very sweet, like strawberries! Oh yeah, she does have a pink thing. Everything about Cosmos is sweet. It's no wonder she's not so popular. Has a huge amount of male f f <laughs> You have to say male fa fans? Like, what the fuck, dude? So, we have to be careful when we're together. If anybody knew I was dating Cosmos, be worth, wouldn't be worth, worth living. Back in Tokyo, the two of us had to be very careful whenever we went out on dates. But now we're in the countryside. Can't afford to throw the cautious to the wind! It's nice to sit with Cosmos along the moment. I, I know something bad's gonna happen here soon. I know I won't get a chance to do this when I leave that Roku sun. I need to make the most of my time while I can. Hippie! Cosmos looks at me and her heart shape is tilted a ascent. Are you still thinking about work? <laughs> yes I am, bitch. You got me, sorry about that. I know I came here two on one, but it's harder than it seems. It's alright, I understand. I'm finding it hard to relax, too. You are? Hmm. Cosmo shifts onto the bench, perhaps trying to get comfy. She nasals her cheek against my shoulder and sighs. Uh, since I'm on the internet celebrity, I always have to work. I can never take any time away. Or my fans will get rest restless. Yeah, true. I want to relax too and spend time with you. But I have to upload a new photograph. Rip upon account every day. That's why I've been taking pi I'm taking a lot of pictures. I am pre I am I am. Uh, my voice is cracking. Shit! I've been screaming too much for the last part. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! I am, I am, uh, I can't say that. Uh, bye, fans. I appreciate. It. I know it's not appreciated. Well, maybe it is. I, I'm appreciated of my fans. Of course, it's because of them I'm able to continue manifesting in the human world. Without their love and support, I wouldn't have the strength to keep going. Oh wow, but they can be quite demanding. 
It's hard to satisfy the, the expectations of all these people. Sometimes I think it would be easier to give up fame up. I never really wanted to be famous anyway. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on. But if I did, I wouldn't be able to stay in the human realm. And I wouldn't be to spend time with you. Oh, that's so sweet. It's a dilemma. Man, that sounds hard. I never knew you had it rough. It's so rough. I thought e-girls had pretty crush, crushy lives. All things considered, but I suppose they have worries. True. I don't know any e-girls. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I've been living under a rock for the past six years! Fuck! Oh boy, okay. After this part, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking um, uh, record the next part because this is fucking tiresome. <laughs> As you can tell, this part I haven't really said that much. I've been just reading the dialogue. The last part was more funnier. This part's just me fucking talking. Ugh. So I gotta do these things in burnt and the spurts. I can tell Cosmos is giving her job for her all. Wants to satisfy all of her fans. But she has over a five million of them. And that said, and that, oh, I'm not, Cosmos is not saying that. In that sense, it's almost like she has over a million, one million bosses, true. Oh shit, I hate that. They're pulling her in different directions, demanding new content on the daily, and Cosmos is doing her best to make them happy. But it's not possible to satisfy everyone. Well, do your best. Hang in there. I poke Cosmos' slender body closer to my wind up in her about arm about her shoulder. I don't know if I can help in a particular sense, but I'll, I'm always here to listen. I'll do my best to ease your stress so however I can. I don't want you making yourself sick. You will, I will take good care of yourself. Take good care of yourself, won't you? Cosmos is so spaced out she is exactly the kind of person who might forget it to eat or clean at her house without a bit of prop prompting. I'll do my best, but if I fail, but fail on Scar, you would you mind looking after me? And this is where we're gonna save and do the next part next time. Okay, so what are the fucking choices are? All right, tell Cosmos she can lean and take care. Tell Cosmos to look. You'll look after her. Take care of herself. I'm probably gonna say this one, but we're gonna see what happens next time. Cause I'm starting to get a headache. To be honest with you, because I'm recording this at like past fucking midnight, like I always fucking do, because I'm a fucking jackass! Stay positive, everyone.